So let me tell you an interesting story about Sergeant Miluna Savic, who is a hero to the Serbian people. Now, in 1912, her brother received a call to arms. Uh, he was supposed to be mobilized for the First Balkan War. It's uh, the Baltic states fighting against the Ottoman Empire. And she decides to go in his place. So she cuts her hair short, uh, dresses up like a man, and then goes to fight. Now, no one knows that she is a woman. It's uh, very similar to the Mulan story. In fact, uh, many people even believe that the Mulan story was inspired from this particular event, but actually has nothing in common. But anyway, she saw actual combat like actual frontline combat, and um, she even managed to get promoted to corporal because of her bravery, as well as uh, her competence. And this happens at the Battle of uh, Bregalnica during the Second Balkanian War. And even though she got wounded several times, she always managed not to get wounded in the chest or not to get wounded serious enough that she would require medical intervention. Unfortunately... Um, she does get wounded severely eventually, and she requires to be treated at a hospital. And her wound was actually on her chest, so the doctors were shocked to realize that she is a woman. I mean, we're talking about 1912, very patriarchal society with incredibly strict gender roles, and while women were helping during the war effort in World War I, uh, they were mostly placed either under support roles or as nurses. So she was called by her commanding officer in order to explain herself. And she was in serious trouble because on one hand she broke the law. She committed forgery. She did the identity theft. Uh, so she could have been court-martialed. But the officer did realize that uh, she is a very competent soldier, which the army was in short supply. And at the same time, it wasn't proper to punish someone who's decorated and is actually considered a war hero. I mean, she was respected by her fellow peers. So the officer instead suggests that she would be assigned to a support role, that she could become a nurse or uh, maybe somewhere in logistics. Uh, but she refuses because uh, she wants to be with her brothers in arms. She cares about them and um, she wants to be a soldier for the Serbian people. So the officer says that he will give the answer the next day, uh, to which she stands at attention and says that I will wait. So legend has it, I mean, obviously there was no one in the room uh, besides the two of them. But, but as the story goes, uh, the officer made her wait one hour as she was standing there like a statue and eventually says, all right, go back to your unit. So she goes back and survives the war. But her story doesn't end here because uh, in 1914, like two years later, World War I starts. And again, she goes back to the war, and she is awarded uh, the first uh, Carador de Star with Cross after the Battle of uh, Colubara, and then receives another Carador de Star with Swords after the Battle of the Kernda Ben. And finally, in 1916, she captures 23 Bulgarian soldiers single-handedly. So, uh, where am I going with this? Isn't this an interesting story that you would play in a video game? Isn't this like an interesting movie that you would watch? Because it's inspired from reality. I mean, there, there is just so much character development that you could do here by filling the blanks. I mean, the relationship between her and her comrades as they find out. Um, the, the, her supporting uh, her brothers in arms and her heroic deeds. As well as, uh, you know, how, how his brother is being treated at home when people find out that his sister took his place. Like, there is just so much rich drama to be had here. And by the way, her life is getting even more interesting after she finishes the war. Uh, but, but like, well, my point is, this is what progressives are robbing from us. This is what they take from us when they slap a reskin in Battlefield Five by giving you, like, a, a woman with a, a hooked arm. And then, you know, like, it's just why? Why? There, there is just so much rich lore to be had. In both World War One and World War Two, like if, if you want to go with the feminist agenda, like there are legit examples from history that you can inspire and create a very interesting and compelling story. And, and she's not like a superhuman. I mean, look at her face. You know, she's got a twenty-yard stare. Like this is a person that has been scarred by combat, but is dedicating her life for her country and and her family. Right, and, and all the picture where she appears, like you, you can see. 
that she is just like all the other soldiers that has been broken from war. Like she, she's not a superhero. She, she's not like a Wonder Woman that hops through the trenches and doesn't care and does whatever she wants under enemy fire because because she's the Mary Sue of the day. No, like she gets wounded uh, several times. In fact, uh, she manages to see soldiers around her dying. Uh, like, like it's it's a very interesting life, and this is why the Serbian people value her, and, and there is a monument in her name. Uh, but but we're never going to get that. Why? Because progressives they they just want like the cliche Hollywoodian type, you know, like progressive liberal that's the hero, and usually reskinned either as a woman or as a black person. And and again, like th there there is also like so much lore involving people of color in World War One and World War Two, and we're never going to get that either. Like, like, what we're going to get is the progressive mockery of what they think a person of color is. I mean, I, I remember playing Battlefield Five, and um, you, you get to play at one point in uh, um, a, a division of uh, with, with people of color, and they, they're complaining that they're not on the front line. And I'm like, that. I'm sorry, but like, that's not human, all right? Like, no sane person wants to be on the front line in a war. Like, most people want to be in the back. Most people want, want to be far away from combat so that their life expectancy grows. Especially if you're a person that's not, not even like, it's not even your country that you're defending. Like you're, you're coming from a colony and, and you're at the war in order to uh, be able to, to go back home, become a citizen and have some land. Like they, they just don't understand the human psyche, the, the, the people making video games now. And I'm not saying like every single person is like that because like you, you do have like some young people that are actually screwed in the head and they want to be on the front line. But that, that is the exception or that's just bravado talk, you know, like they're, they're trying to, to show to their brothers in arm like how, how courageous and how brave they are. But in reality, like everyone wants to be as far away from combat, as far away as possible. No, no one wants to be in the front line, right? But, but like the story was that the people of color were oppressed. Because they weren't allowed to be in the front. And I'm like, I'm sorry, as a gamer, I, I and, and like the person partaking in this, I don't I, I don't view that as oppression. Like if, if there is ever a war, please oppress me like that. Please put me as far away from the, the, the front line as possible. You know, make me dig the trenches, make me do like engineering or whatever, but be like away from the front. I don't wanna be there. Okay? Like if that's oppression, I wanna be marginalized. So anyway, like that that's my point because um uh, Sabaton made uh, a song about this lady and I actually knew about her uh, but I guess I, it never came out that, that I should be able to make a video on this topic and it, it pisses me off so much like so much wasted opportunity right? like, because the people making video games now don't care about history they don't, they don't even know history they're uneducated the only thing they know is social justice that's it that's the limit of their knowledge the beginning and end of, of the, the, the sum of knowledge that they have in their head. Hopefully in the future we might actually get some competent people that genuinely know history and, and they might make some video games because we used to have that in the past. We used to have that in the past. Go play the uh, Call of Duty World at War and see the Stalingrad campaign and see how harrowing and uh, how it actually describes the, the suffering of the Russian army uh, as the Germans rain siege on their, their town. Like, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's a work of art, and the graphics are shit compared to what you have today. But then go play the new Call of Duty game, and, and you'll see just how bad Stalingrad is made. It's, it's almost like it's a comic book representation for 10-year-olds. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.